this is a Barlow motor. Its main component is this wheel right here. The axis of the wheel is hooked up to a negative terminal on this battery, and I'm going to connect the positive terminal down here. Current is going to flow through this horseshoe magnet's magnetic field. That's going to cause a force, which is going to spin the wheel. Now the old version of the Barlow motor had a pool of mercury at the bottom to ensure good contact. Mercury is not a great material for handling by hand, so I'm going to be connecting it using this electrode. As a side note, the way that this copper has been completely eroded is called plasma cutting. Of course, as with many motors, this process can be reversed to create a generator. Instead of hooking this up to a battery, I've hooked it up to a voltmeter, and I'm going to manually spin the wheel. You'll notice Barlow motors and generators are not very efficient, but we are getting measurable amounts of voltage out of it. And if I spin it the other way, I should get a negative voltage. Now let's never bring up Barlow motors again.